Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome. Um, I was thinking about the, when I started out here, it was about 55 years ago. Scary. But uh, time, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, time has its, its benefits. As much as it takes away from us, it, it gives us things. I, I think I should share with you um, some of the some of the details about how I got to know Coach, because it, it really uh, it, it's something that lasted over a long period, over 50 years. Uh, we knew each other, and um, the relationship just grew and took on it, it, its its own life. Um, I, I first came out here in uh, March of 1965. A uh, pretty cocky kid, um, very confident about my basketball abilities. And it was a very difficult time. The, the, the nation was in a lot of turmoil. There were a lot of uh, bad things happening. The, the summer before uh, I came out here, it was a really bad race riot in, in New York City uh, where a young kid was shot under suspicious circumstances like we are seeing recurring over a period of time. Ever since then, it hasn't stopped happening. But uh, that really was the, was the background for me coming out here. And then, uh, you know, it, it uh, seemed like maybe this would be a refuge from that type of uh, occurrence. But that, that wasn't the case. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I came out uh, Saturday morning. I went over to, to see Coach Wooden at his office. and. Um, he, he kind of reminded me, of, he, the first time I got up close to him, he kind of reminded me of Alfalfa with the, with the part up of his head and just the, the, way, he, uh, the way he spoke. But uh, he, he was so proper. And, you know, I, here I am, ripping and rearing, you know, thinking about my basketball career. And the first thing Coach Wooden wants to talk to me about is academics. And um, he said, you, you know, uh, Lewis, you, you have very good grades. You, you should do well here. And uh, you, you should graduate. Uh, this is something I expect all, all my players to do. And uh, I don't think you're going to have any problem. And you know, we talk about academics you know, for a good 20, 25 minutes, no mention of basketball. And I'm like, geez, what's going to happen here? You know, I, I wasn't upset about it, but it, you know, it, uh, it kind of took me by surprise. And I, I think that that is one key thing about Coach Wooden. There was a lot more there than was obvious. Uh, there was a lot more there than was obvious. And you really had to get to know him to get into what he was all about. Uh, as time went on, uh, we, we traveled together and uh, went a lot of places. and he. He saw different things in my life that made him have to adjust how he thought about things. Uh, one thing that he didn't understand was how racism affected people, uh, affected black Americans. He, he really had no idea about that. And just observing the things that I had to deal with as we traveled together and went about uh, the uh, business of you know, laying waste to the pack eight. Um, as we did that, and he saw how people w w would react to me, it, it really helped open him up to a number of things uh, about prejudice. Um, and there was something I found out about Coach toward the end of uh, his life that I hadn't known that, that really shocked me. And uh, it really is an indication of what his character was about. <clears throat> While Coach was uh, coaching at Indiana, uh, at Indiana State. Um, his teams did very well. They were invited to the NAIA tournament, and um, the NAIA tournament was held in Kansas City. Coach got a, a call and said, uh, your team did very well. We want you to come to the tournament, but you can't bring the, the black ball player that's on your team. And Coach Wooden told the guy, well, look, you know, we, we've gone through the whole season together. Uh, I'm not going to do that because we're going to stay together to the end of the season. So uh, thank you for the invitation. And coach hung up on him and didn't go to the tournament. So next year, Indiana State did better and um, had an even better record. 
And Coach Wooden got the same phone call at the same time of year with the same proposition. And Coach Wooden said, you know, I, I, I think you should know where this phone call is going. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to be able to come again. And before Coach could uh, turn down the offer, um, they buckled down. They, they, they buckled in, rather. They gave in and uh, allowed Coach Wooden to bring his black ball player. Now, that, that was... Uh, that was a, a blow for the civil rights movement you know, at the very start of it. This is 1948. Um, and I would have been very impressed when I first got here by that, by that knowledge. Coach Wooden never ever talked to me about that because he saw that as something that he should have done and he was only doing the right thing and he wasn't gonna try to get any additional credit for it. He had that type of character. Now, I, I would have been as impressed as hell uh, with him if he had told me that, but he, he didn't tell me that. He, he let our relationship develop and grow in the way that it should. And that's, uh, that, that, that's the most meaningful uh, lesson I could get from him, his integrity. Coach wouldn't help me understand how to live and how to become a better person every day that I was with him and it made it possible for me to see the right way to do things. I, I never really did too much to get on his bad side, but th there were times there where I, I wasn't an angel. And I knew that Coach knew about it, but um, he expected better from me, and he made me feel like I needed to learn those lessons and take them to heart. And uh, when I thought that I was impressing him, uh, that, 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 made, uh, that made me feel good. It had made me understand um, what my life was supposed to be about. I don't think that uh, Coach Wooden today would, would be a, a very successful college coach because there's not very many kids now that want to come and get an education and learn the game of basketball uh, the way we did. It, it's, it, it's not happening now. It's, uh, it's quite a different scene now, and I don't think that the, uh, the kids really see um, college as a place for learning. They just see it as a place to get attention and go on to the NBA. And, uh, you know, that is what it is. You know, we can't do anything about that. That is something that we look at at the modern world. But I'm glad I got a chance to play for this man. He was about excellence, excellence of character, uh, the excellence of the team, the excellence that you achieve when you get an education, the excellence when you understand uh, what a moral statement is with your life. That's, that's what Coach Wooden was about, and um, that's what made him so special and so different. And uh, that's what made him my friend for life. Uh, I'm so proud and happy that uh, I made the choice that I made. Uh, people have often asked me, geez, uh, you ever regret going to UCLA? You could have got out of there and made some money earlier. No, I'm glad I came here and did, did it the way I did it. Got my degree and um, went on and to, to live my life uh, with some purpose and some knowledge. That's, that, that is the most important thing. Again, a great lesson that I got from a great man, John R. Wooden. Thank you so much. Thank you.